play that ball. Look, look, that was Come on, group, quit fooling with it. You got it. Okay, okay. I just want to get it sharp so I don't miss any of the ball scores. Hey, here it is. Good evening, all you brave American fighting men in the South. Hiya, baby. Oh, good old That's Madam cool. Butterfly. How's everything at Tojo Land, sweetie? <laughs> this is Nippon Nancy once again. Mike's side with your favorite recordings and news from the home front. First of all, you Brooklyn boys, the Dodgers defeated the Giants 5-2. to two. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some cards here, come on. Too bad none of you will get to see the World Series. But yours is not to reason why. Yours is but to do and and die. Right? <laughs> but now, on to more pleasant things. How about a musical selection for you Navy boys out there on Taratupa? Go, go, go! Hey. A little dull there now, is it? Well, it might get pretty hot before we're through with you. But then we don't want to upset Captain Binghamton now, do we? We all know his indigestion is bad enough already. She's picking on Binghamton again. <laughs> yeah, all right, store it, store it. We're missing it. Come on. Are you men on Taratupa amazed to learn how much information we have about you? If you had any idea how much we really knew, it'd make your hair stand on end. That I'd like to see. <laughs> tend to be chewed out because of a Japanese blabbermouth. There is an enemy espionage agent on this base, and I intend to find out who he is. This isn't the first time that this uh, Yokohama Yetta, or whatever she calls herself, has taken a shot at me. Uh, nip on Nancy, sir. Oh, shut up. I know what she calls herself. <laughs> if she knows so much about what is going on in my insides, then it's feasible that she knows how many ships and guns that we've got here. Now, gentlemen, that is your assignment. Get on the ball, find this leak, and plug it, and get out of here, and that's an order, and dismissed. Quick, Hale. Sir. Wait a minute. Yes, sir. Captain, uh, maybe those fortune cookies are what's knocking out your stomach, sir. Oh, don't be silly. My wife sends these to me from our favorite restaurant. I've been eating these for years. <laughs> I didn't invite you to stay to have a cookie clatch. Oh. Well, Mikhail, you and I know that you command the biggest bunch of thieves in the Navy. Now, isn't it just possible that one of them to uh, pick up a little loose change might be peddling tidbits of information to Tokyo? Hmm? Uh, just a second, Captain. Maybe my boys ain't exactly all spit and polish all the time, but every one of them is a loyal, true blue American. All right, Mikhail. All right, keep your shirt on. Torn as it is. <laughs> I think you'll admit that you do have a rather strange bunch of natives and whatnots popping in and out of that place of yours over there. Now, don't you think maybe one of them has a little drop of Japanese blood in him somewhere along the line there? Captain, I assure you that there isn't a drop of Japanese blood within 500 miles of my base. Why, every time that I... What is it? Bye-bye. 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 Nothing, sir. I was just thinking about something else. Oh, Mikhail. I am not as well a man as I would like to be. My blood pressure has shot up to 174. Now, I insist that you tell no, me. No, 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 Captain. Look, I, I promise you that I'll make a thorough security check on my island. Uh, I give you my word as an officer and a gentleman. Well, that's two counts you miss on right there. Those <laughs> well, I'll have to settle. Dismiss. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, and, uh, thanks for the cookie. Huh? <laughs> thanks for the cookie. Oh, get away for the weekend. <laughs> I don't see him. Besides, it can't be Fuji, even if he is Japanese. No, nah, he'd never be a spy. He's our pal. Yeah, you never can tell, though, Tink. Shh, shh. Good 
Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Lovely day. Brunch will be ready in 15 minutes. Thanks, Vooch. Frankly, I don't know what to think. Well, as far as I'm concerned, Fuji may be Japanese, but I think he's a nice guy. Hey, I got it all figured out, Skip. Fuji couldn't possibly be a Japanese spy. Why not? Because he looks like a Japanese spy. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I've seen a lot of those spy movies, and the guilty guy is always somebody you never suspect. Now, if we had a butler, then he'd have to work. Hey, houseboy is just like a butler. Uh, I don't buy it. Personally, I think Fuji's a 100% loyal deserter. Besides, there's no way for him to get messages out. Skip, they're right. Now, Fuji couldn't do anything okay, like that. Okay, okay. Haul it, you guys. Now, look, I agree with all you fellas. Fuji's a great guy, and we trust him. But just the same, I think we better keep our eyes open. <laughs> My dear pumpkin. Little do you realize what a weight your teddy bear carries on his shoulders. You know that I'm not a complaining man. But wait until you hear what happened to me yesterday. Oh, excuse me, pumpkin. Hello again, American fighting men. This is Nippon Nancy again, bringing you some of the latest record releases to help soothe your lonely hours. Take heart, you boys, all over the South Pacific. It will all be over soon. Enjoy the time you have left. Relax. Especially you, Captain Binghamton. A man whose blood pressure is 174 should learn to take things easier. Oh, you're right, my dear. I've got... I see how my blood pressure. That's it exactly, Captain. It's 174. No, no, Captain. Calm yourself. Oh, you shut up. You think you're funny, you gives a gossip monger, you? I tell you, Carpenter, you're lucky you're just a lieutenant, believe me. You don't have the whole Japanese empire after you. They think they can wear me down, Carpenter, because if they do, then Taratupa would go. And if Taratupa goes, the whole South Pacific could go. Hello! Oh, hello, Admiral. <laughs> to what do I owe the pleasure of this call, sir? Never mind the soft soap, Binghamton. What the devil's going on at your place? How do the Japanese know so much about your blasted insides? Well, I, I don't know, sir. We're, we're working on that. Yes, sir, with a, a tight ship. Yes, sir. Get the lead out of my... Yes, sir. Okay, goodbye, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh... Uh... Is it that bad, sir? Mm. Where could she have found out about your blood pressure? Of course. I told Mikhail yesterday and today that Oriental Matahari, she's broadcasting it to the world. Oh, well, surely, sir, you don't think that Commander Mikhail... I Mikhaili... don't think he's a traitor? No, I know he's a traitor. <laughs> Mixed up in this somewhere, someplace, somehow, but how am I going to get the evidence? Sir. Perhaps you could ask G2 for a counter-espionage agent. Oh, that wouldn't do any good. Mikhail would be suspicious of a newcomer. It's got to be somebody that's already on his island. And I think I've got just the man. <laughs> Parker, I am going to give you an opportunity that history affords to very few. You read me? Uh, loud and clear, sir. <laughs> I am going to give you the opportunity of choosing between the possibility of receiving a citation or facing a firing squad. Now, which do you prefer? Well, well, any nitwit knows the answer to that, sir. Uh-huh. Well, I'm not talking to just any nitwit. I'm talking to you. <laughs> now, what'll it be? You want to be a live hero or a dead ensign? Well, uh, well a live hero, sir. You sure? Oh, I'm positive, sir. Uh, you see, I told my mother to be home right after the war. Oh, how nice, sir. Now, if you ever want to see your mother again, you're going to follow orders. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. I'm assigning you as G2, counter-espionage. From now on, you are my counter-spy on Mikhail's base. Mikhail. You want me to spy on Commander Mikhail? Oh, gee, sir. Oh, gee, sir, my Aunt Tilly. Somebody in this area is playing footsie with the Japanese. I'm sure it couldn't be Commander Mikhail, sir. You see, he's a staunch patriot. A oh, staunch patriot, my eye. He's been living on these islands so long that by now he could be worshipping volcanoes. <laughs> Besides, Parker, 
He hates me. You know that's true, don't you? He hates me, huh? <clears throat> well, if you want my opinion... I don't want your opinion. <laughs> I want your cooperation. I just want to know where you stand, Parker. Do you stand with Mikado Mikhail and his Japanese buddies? Or do you stand with me and the United States of America? <laughs> well, sir, I am an officer of the United States Navy, but... Good. You had me fooled there for a while. <laughs> All right, Parker, from now on, you are counter-espionage, and Mikhail is a traitor. Now, that's your assignment. You get the evidence, get out there and dig, and that's an order. Uh, but, sir... Don't you but, sir, me, Parker. You better come through this time, because if you foul up... Boom, boom. <laughs> Uh, yes, sir. Boom, boom.